Scoliosis, um, there's different forms of it. Primarily, there's childhood, which means you're born with it and it progressively can get worse, but we tend to see more patients here with degenerative scoliosis. So as we get older, our discs wear down and they tend to more, if you think about it, kind of wear down asymmetrically. So they tend to wear down more on one side. So what can occur, because our spine is supposed to be lined up one disc, one bone, one disc, one bone, one on top of each other, kind of in a straight line. But with scoliosis, you can have a variation of that. And so there can be a curvature. There can be even a rotary component where it can kind of turn sideways. It can be very debilitating to some patients um, because this can cause fairly significant back pain. It can affect their quality of life. Um, and we try to treat this conservatively first, meaning maybe try physical therapy to help strengthen the muscles that surround the spine to support it. Uh, also, we like to check to see if they have osteoporosis because um, as we get older, our bones soften. If our bones soften, then scoliosis can get worse quicker than what normally occurs. If conservative measures fail, such as therapy, medication, then we consider if there are a possibility for a candidate for surgical intervention. And with surgical intervention, that is Dr. Patil's little subspecialty in terms of spine. He is specialized in spinal deformity surgery. It takes a very long time and a lot of education and counseling with these patients before we even undertake the uh, spinal deformity surgery because these procedures can be extensively long, um, you know, eight hours plus procedure. Recovery for these uh, surgeries can be, you know, up to a week in the hospital. Um, a lot of these patients will need to go to rehab for a short period after it, and it can be up to a year before these patients can feel like they can fully do any kind of strenuous activity. Um, so we don't take these surgeries lightly um, before we undertake them. It is a lot of counseling, a lot of education, and then if a patient is a candidate, then there's that mutual decision that's agreed upon before undergoing surgical intervention.